Get over to our man and kick this new year off right, folks. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. And don't forget, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, as a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN, go right into the newsletters. You're going to see, you hit newsletters, it's going to be on the left-hand side. You just hit the opening call. You can get it for one month for $149. You get it six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195 which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, folks, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So as you're checking it out, you can get the six-month, you get the year. You like it, great. You can keep it. Something doesn't work for you, 30 days, just you get your you full money back. Basil has an outstanding newsletter, has some archives out there that really explain to you how he looks at the market and how you ride that wave and ride that wave into 2023. Basil Chapman, Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Can you really? imagine? They just They move along so quickly, don't oh, they? Oh, <laughs> scary, man. I guess you, can't, you just can't think about it, man. <laughs> no, you just got to go. Well, especially for those of us who look at the market every minute of the day. <laughs> so <laughs> We're just now, so I lucky. I mean, you know, what a great business to be in. I mean, you well, know, and we win and lose, folks. Love That's it, not yeah. what I'm saying. It's just that it's an exciting business. That's the bottom well, line. I, you know? I treat it as, as there is no day that goes by that doesn't challenge your market intellect. It, it just yes. it pushes you. It, it's funny. Even at my age, even at the, the decades that I've been doing this, I still feel that I'm learning every day. I agree. I, it, that's what's so cool and that's about exciting. it. Man. I mean, yeah. that's for me. That that is the most important thing. That it's education yeah. for me, and I also feel that I'm trying to get, educate my subscribers. And I think we, we we're getting there. Yes, totally. So okay, the, here we go. Talking about talking about patterns. If you think about the Dow, if you look at this pattern on the right, that's let me show. This is the daily. This is the weekly. This is the monthly. And I I know I always talk about the Dow. The Dow is only 30 stocks, but wow, what 30 stocks! It really represents, especially at this particular time a perfect uh, emblem and encapsulation of the market itself because we're looking even in the short term when you've got this tussle going on, you can see it in the chart. We are stuck between 33,400 33, and 33, 32,700. Stuck there for over a week. And that in this market, that's a long time to be stalling. But I think when I'm looking at it, and the, the homework I did over the weekend, I had for my subscribers to my opening call, I had another one of my hour uh, videos for nice. Saturday overview because we were looking at all different things. Almost, I, I tried to treat it almost like an educational video. So the thing I looked at was there's such, and I, I've been talking about this for the whole year, the selectivity, the rotation, when there's a correction, even within a sector, you could have some, just even a couple of the stocks in the sector holding the market up that particular sector well and quite a lot of them are just looking terrible so this is individual individualization so if people are looking and they have their favorite stock and it's been acting quite well don't don't listen to the soothsayers look at your stuff if you feel comfortable put your stop in don't be afraid because if it's holding well in this environment that's a good sign that's relative strength and i i like that so I just wanted to throw that out because a lot of people are listening to the news. I know I saw a lot of friends over the weekend. I mean, people I never talk market to. We just have fun together uh, talking about everything else. And uh, they all were just shaking their heads. Oh, this morning, 2022. But in fact, I believe very strongly that a lot of people have a good eye. They just don't believe in it. And they really listen too much to what others are saying. So I wanted to get that out the way. When I'm looking at the market in the Dow, if you consider that this has really been a, a, we've had bear markets in every single in in just about every single index, every sector. In other words, they've gone under 20 percent. But look at this: 36,952 in the Dow, down to a low of the 28,000, and then it bounces. And right now, it's at 33,000. In a in a way, I I'm kind of impressed, but it's very selective. I can't say the same thing about the other indices. So I'm I'm going to say that. For the subscribers of Open and Call, we are still trading. We're still long the Dow. We're still long the three times uh, Dow. We're treating it as trading positions, get in and out, core positions as well. 
But uh, for day traders, we have trades that last a day or two and take a profit, so we take a very small loss. That's something separate. But for subscribers, and I've been showing this to uh, in, in my uh, overview on the weekends when I show the kind of things that we're looking at for 2023, I'm still sticking to the premise that if if I'm able to satisfy subscribers by having stocks in like, between one dollar and two dollar. I have stocks that are in the teens, stocks that are in the in the, in the double digits, stocks that are in the in the triple digits. Now I'm looking at stocks forgetting about price, but I want to have a range for subscribers so that if they just want to put a small amount of money to work, they can do that. And I've always say to them, you're not taking your one dollar stock and buying three hundred thousand of them. You're not going to make your fortune on the one dollar stock. Don't do that. It is just part of your portfolio, small part. Cheat it as a trade, and that's that's what I like to do. But the other thing is, within the context of the markets themselves, we are starting to see a couple of stocks. I'm going to mention this. We, we haven't got into it, but it's so fascinating. GE, I mean, they did everything. That was just a textbook for Harvard students in e economics to, to see uh, what was done wrong from 2001. I mean, everything, buying oil at the wrong time, buying the financials. But I think GE is starting to improve a lot. So this is on my radar, but it's going to split tomorrow. It starts off with a split, I think, going to go into the health care. Um, so it's a little difficult. If you had a buy today, then tomorrow you've got the split and you've got to figure things out. It gets a little complicated. So I'm looking at GE because I think GE is starting to improve because the cyclicals based on, say, Boeing, are based on the really heavy duty stuff. I think that we are starting to see some improvement in the cyclicals, but you cannot get a market that's going to move very strongly unless you get the SMHs, the semiconductors, moving. And about six months ago, I said, I would not be surprised if we start to see a glut in the chip area and the whole thing's going to be, does the glut come just as the automobile companies and all the other companies that need the chips are actually slowing down? So it's a double hit for them. Or is it going to be at the time when it's most desirable and they're getting a little discount on the on the chips? So this is going to be very important for the semiconductors and trading at 206.95 right now. Well, sorry, 201.40. If the SMHs in January are even able to touch 215, 217, that'll be at least a good sign. But if they break down and you start to see them 195. That's not that's not a good sign at all. So I'm looking at the sectors and say, what can you help me with? But even in the semis, there are a couple that have held very well. But I need the actual index itself to show that there's strength because, as you and I have spoken about for so long, the chips really lead. I consider the chips to be like the oil used to be for well, still is for the whole of the. Uh, 20th century and then 21st century. It was essential to almost everything. Chips have become the oil of the 21st century. So I think that's really important. So I've got the things that we're looking at. We've got uh, positions that we're starting selectively, built a lot of cash for, uh, for subscribers so that we can get into new positions in January, February. So we're looking at entry points and very selectively. So I, we, we're in a good position to start buying very soon. And folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter. Come over to our website and hit that uh, newsletter to opening call. Basil, have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. If you want to